I'm James Crabtree, I'm from Equine Reproductive Services in the UK. Um, I'm clinical director and team leader, if you like, clinical lead there with my colleague Charlie Cook. And so we're primarily, a, well we are, a clinical reproduction practice. We do everything from um, all of the specialised breeding work right the way through to the care of the, the horses all year round and young stock management as well. So we're a full spectrum of clinical work through to the top end reproductive and advanced reproductive technologies. Extremely useful because it's, it's giving access to some of the people that are at the top end of the cutting edge of their fields and mixing us with everybody else in it. It's got an atmosphere that it promotes discussion and you find this is one of the conferences where all of the speakers are in all of the lectures and if there's a question or a topic that is worth discussing then the speakers will be discussing it with microphones with the audience involved so it, it, it brings together and, and even when an audience member doesn't have a question there's usually a speaker that does and so that everybody gets to take part in that discussion and it's very clinically orientated with a really nice atmosphere so yeah, I, that's why I like it. I think it's really valuable in that regard. Uh, well, the, the knowledge gets absorbed, <laughs> not just in the lectures, it gets absorbed all year round and, and in the bar and, you know, we're discussing it every opportunity, so during the coffee breaks. So, but not just that, it's a really nice environment to be in. You know, we were relaxing last, last night with all of the, 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 the delegates and the speakers and we're not going to stop. You know, we'll enjoy some a meal tonight and time in the bar and, and I'm sure there'll be lots more questions asked and answered during that time as well. So knowledge is being absorbed all the time. Yeah, so we have a clinical OPU programme. It's humble, it's, it's small, but so is the industry in the UK. Um, but yes, I mean, it's important if we're offering a range of services that that is something that we offer. Um, so that is very important to us. So, so we, have a, we have a range of equipment. Um, coming from a very clinical background and having to take small baby steps in, into OPU, I have gathered equipment from around, um, from different manufacturers, from second-hand equipment, from human hospitals and that type of thing. We have the blue. Yeah, so one of my colleagues has the blue and then a range of probes, the rectal, uh, transabdominal and tendon probes. Yeah, we've had it now for 12 months and it's on the list of considerations for the next scanner as well. So, yeah, I'm very satisfied. It's very, it's very intuitive. It's easy to use. It also doesn't, you don't have like a, a dedicated service plan or anything for it. It's, it's a robust piece of equipment that works very well. And of course it does have the option for an OPU handle if a, if a colleague wanted to move forward and add an OPU probe to their Draminsky Blue.